Way back in the days when rock and roll began, so did a man named Frank Zappa. He came before the Beatles. He first sang professionally in 1955. He started the Mothers of Invention in 1964. In an industry where rock singers are hot for about 15 minutes, then disappear, Zappa's fans keep increasing year after year. Right now, he's on a six-month world tour. I caught up with him in concert at the L.A. Sports Arena, where 13,000 screaming fans were hanging from the rafters. Frank Zappa, considered by most of his fellow musicians the best guitarist in the industry. His music is studied in college classes for its rhythmic sophistication, a multi-textured complex sound with a commercially appealing beat, ranging from elaborate orchestral suites to avant-garde jazz to Zappa's own brand of rock and roll. his musical genius to express his personal social commentary. He's a man of wide, varied, and strong opinions, and he'll give them to you in song and in life. On the current presidential race. I resent being put in a position as a voter where I have to choose between the lesser of several evils, you know, relative evils. I think that the people who are offering themselves uh, as candidates for the election are wimps. There's not a statesman among them. <clears throat> There's not uh, one idea that I've heard any of them put forth that I thought was original or even contemporary. Well, what they do Nuclear arms, does it bother you? We're sitting on a tinderbox of arms and could blow ourselves up? not inconceivably at some time in the future? I, I am in favor of armament. I am in favor of really sophisticated, nasty weapons to blow other people up. I believe in them. The only thing is that since a lot of these things are made in America, we don't know whether they'll work because craftsmanship in American manufacturing is a thing of the past. We understand this. And the biggest worry of nuclear war is not the fact that there are arms on either side. The fact is that when they start pushing the buttons, will our rockets that we made here actually fly over there, or will they just go up out of the hole and land on top of us? We don't know, you know? What's the difference if they start pushing the buttons? I would feel a lot better about it if I got blown up by a Russian bomb than by an American bomb, wouldn't you? <laughs> about the draft for a moment. Aside from the cost of setting up the mechanics of rounding up all of this slave labor, what they're going to have to do is clothe them in their little uniforms, feed them, house them, and train them. And after they spent all that money, they have to cross their fingers and hope that these people that have been inducted won't shoot each other in the foot when it's time to go out there and do something, because they don't want the job. My father, he likes it. So you don't like the way things are. If you were running things, Frank, how would you make it better? First thing I would do is tax the churches. Make them pay their way because they need to pay their way. And then you should legalize all drugs and tax them. You should legalize prostitution and tax it. Legalize gambling and tax that. And if that doesn't straighten your budget out, then nothing will, because the revenue from all those things would really put a rosy complexion on the budget. Do you 
like America, Frank? I love America. It's the best. Just think how much nicer it could be if it ran correctly. You've got a great sense of humor, I think. You bet, you bet. Are you mostly laughing at what you satirize, which is just about everything, or are you putting out a serious message? Or both? Well, both, because I perceive the world in terms of entertainment. Since I have to provide entertainment, it's necessary for me to be entertained to maintain my equilibrium. But there is a serious message here, and we have to be uh, quite firm in delivering it. I guarantee if he ran for president, he'd get some votes. He would, yeah. A lot of people like him. A lot you of know, people agree with his frankness. That's right. Interesting enough about this man is um, he is almost 40 now. He's been around, as we said, for 25 years and he gets hotter all the time. His fans are young. Hmm. I mean, they, they're, 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 they're like his frankness, and he says a lot that makes a lot of sense.